ericmothersmother.com based on a combination of two methods, pretty much which is the same method presented in a different way. But one of the methods is what I call the five breakout and I'm going to include a link in the description of the video. And the other method, which is the main method here is the ultimate mother breakout. Again, I'm going to include a link in the description of the video. Let's take a look at an example of this method in action. And here we can see a stock that IPO'd in 2010 and for a couple of years was sideways to down. As we can see here, sideways to down. And then suddenly something happened here that ignited this very strong move, as we can see here. So the question is, what could have changed? Now, based on the method here, which is the ultimate mother breakout and the five breakout, we can see that the critical change was here. Once we saw the RSI moving above 61.8 for the first time ever, that was the change. So as the RSI was breaking out on the monthly, which coincided with a price breakout, right there. And also, for this to be true, we need one of the MACDs to be breaking out at least to three-year highs. Here we have one of the MACDs breaking out to all-time highs. So because of the minimum requirements, RSI moving above 61.8 for the first time ever. MACD is breaking out. Here it was to all time highs. Here RSI was breaking out above 61.8 for the first time ever. This is where we get this breakout. And after that, you can see after spending some time down to sideways. And this is almost over a period of one two, three, four, five years, suddenly there's an explosion here on year number six. And that explosion is because it met the minimum requirements of the ultimate Mwadi breakout. And also because it met the minimum requirements for the universal law breakout or what I call the fire breakout. Links are going to be in the description of the video. Eric Mwadi with Mwadi.com. As always, good luck, peace, and blessings. E, I see.